as a player what's your purpose like what does that actually mean it's like when you have a purpose you're going to have drive you're going to want to do this thing so let's say let's say we're going to start with that so the great without a purpose there's going to be a lot of things you're not willing to do so purpose actually gives you the tool as well how do i say this it's going to make things tolerable so because every day like like you said or we said earlier being an astronaut it's okay once you understand that it's just not easy is that actually a goal or a dream or a purpose if it is you're going to do things that other people aren't willing to do so as a hockey player when you have a purpose if it's a real purpose and a dream then you're going to be you're going to you're going to be you're going to do things that are hard that's going to you're going to make those a little bit more tolerable so when you have to get up you don't have to get up and shoot pucks now or you don't have to get up and exercise you do it because you know it's part of my purpose and even though you might be tired it's tolerable and satisfying at the end it's not just a chore um what i find also one of the purpose and i'm looking at my life uh and people that i'm around is once you have a purpose then all of a sudden your schedule is a lot easier to manage because you find you can see what's important and what's not because it doesn't align with your purpose does that make sense yeah yeah for sure and then your whole life, actually, and it's harder to do this as a as a young person, but there's still ways that you can do it. But you align your whole life with your purpose, and it's actually important. My wife, because she's a very very nice human being, she so with my son, she always wants him to make sure that he does nice things and takes time for people. And we butt heads a little bit, not that I disagree, but there's times where she wants to make sure that he was out of his way nice and take time when he actually shouldn't. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, yeah. And and tried, I tried to explain to her, like, like George St. Pierre, he was a fighter. He said this the best. But we talked about this the other day. George St. Pierre said, like, so he was a Walter Waite UFC fighter, the best of the best, and his life was so organized, and he explained that it had to be. It had to be about him and nobody else because with the task that he was trying to do every day – was there was no room for anybody else in his life. Now, did he have a team and did he have people that supported him? Yes, but he said it very clearly that they are there to be on every um, whim and call that he needs right. so that he can succeed. He pays them for it. So so with the schedule in your life aligning with that, it's like he had to, how am I saying this? He... Uh, yeah, so like when it came to fight time and everything, everything was about him. I need to eat this, and it doesn't care what anybody else. It doesn't matter what you want to right. eat, right? So as a as a as a young person playing hockey, I guess the biggest areas that you're going to find that your life will align with your purpose is like yes, you're going to have to go with your parents, and and you should want to go with your parents to do family things, and and you should want to go with your parents to do uh, um, whatever family things, right? Um, but there's times where when your friends are asking you to do things, you have to look and 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 make sure that that aligns with your purpose. Yep. So we talk about it all the time at our house, you know, and we've been fortunate that my son's never been to a, a Friday night dance. And we made it clear early. It's like, okay, you got to go to bed early. It's the people you hang out with. It's blah, 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 blah. Does that align with what you want to be? And is, it, is, is going to one dance going to kill him? Is it going to make a difference? No. But it's it's a thing, and he actually takes pride in it. He goes, I just have never went to a, a dance. Yeah, I'm a hockey player. That's funny. I, I had the same idea. I was exact same thing when I was a kid. The Friday night dance thing, because mm-hmm. that was like the first. Mm-hmm. It went from, it went from uh, hang out at the mall on Friday yeah, nights. That's a cool thing. To the next cool <laughs> thing was the, you would in grade like eight, nine, ten. There was the dances Friday, yeah. Saturday, and I never went yeah. ever. And not only did I not go. The, the time I did go, I went to one. I remember it still. And I thought it was the dumbest waste of time. Yeah. Because by the time I went, I was probably in like grade 10, so about Charlie's age. Yeah. And uh, by the time I got there, I had not been going for two years already. And I was like, this is what you guys are doing. Like, this is what we're doing here? Like, this sucks. Like, yeah. this isn't fun. It's weird and awkward. Yeah. And like, no yeah. one really knows how to behave. And yeah. it was kind of... And I guess there might be something to be said about figuring out how to navigate that kind of situation, maybe, I guess. But it was just like something where I, f- I felt it was so unnecessary. And you're, you know, you're talking about... Uh, you're going to have to make... You're going to have to make sacrifices 
for your purpose, right? And yeah. and or for what you think you want to be doing. And if you have that well defined, then it makes not only the <sighs> not only the sacrificing easier but it makes handling the setbacks and the disappointments easier right yeah. because that's gonna, it's going to happen man like if you think it's going to be smooth sailing so yeah. you're, you're going to get hurt you're going to get cut a coach isn't going to like you your billets are going to suck your team sucks your whatever your line mate won't pass whatever it is right and when you have something that's well defined it it helps to <laughs> it helps to push you through yeah. those things right yeah. yeah when you look at dalton he says, I'm a selfish. He goes, I had no choice to be to get where I wanted to be because it's so hard. You yeah, have to be. You have to be. So, like, you look at players, like, and here's the funny thing, right? Like, people see the NHL and even junior hockey as, like, it's prestigious. And, yes, of course, to a certain degree it is. I mean, you're playing in the best leagues in the world, and, wow, it's awesome. But the, what, you, what you're giving up for that lifestyle is huge. You, If you have a family, it becomes very tough to see your family. If, if you want to go out on a Friday night, no, you actually sleep is more important yep. than – taking your kids to the movies like it like to it's not more important but it's to stay in the league and to perform it's more important it's more important to eat what you want than it is what the family wants you can't just have whatever you want to eat it's like everything revolves around the player and is does that make sense well yeah when you're making five million dollars a year it makes sense that's the price you have to pay mm -hmm. right? well the and that's the thing it's you say you know it's more important to do to do those things but it's only more important if you actually want it and that yeah. goes back to what we were saying. Like, yeah. you do you actually want it, or are you just saying it would be nice to play in the NHL? Because it would be nice. Everyone would like to do that yeah. and make $5 million or even a million dollars, whatever it yeah. is. But when it comes down to it and you have to do those things, do you want to do those things? Yeah. And that's what's going to define whether or not you actually want to be a hockey player. Do you actually want to be yeah. a professional? Do you, Are you willing to do what you need yeah. to do? And that defines it, you know, yeah. because then... Those things like I have to go to practice, I have to work out, I have to eat right, I have to. Th it turn, people say this all the time. It turns turns from uh, I have to to I get to, right? 100%. Because now you want to do those things because it aligns. And then the other thing too that I wanted to point out is if you actually take pride in those things and you actually care about that, then – and the more you show it, like I was – I was th what made me think of this when you're talking about you training a kid and whether or not you're going to pick a kid to – or be okay with a kid coming and training with you. Like other people are going to want to help you, right? And that that's the other help. thing. Like so, so if you have a kid come to you yes. and he cares and yes. wants, you want to help that kid. Oh yes, right. Yes, yes. And that's yes. and that's the thing. So if you're one of these kids that care, like so for example with the the workout group, these are all like young kids that are getting ready to go into junior into into their draft and all this stuff. Those are the guys that I train. Yeah. And the kids that I want to help the most are the kids that are the most involved, ask the most questions, Always. are hungry when they're in the gym, are working hard. Like these are the kids that I will do extra things for them yeah. because they're showing me that. And that's not favoritism. It's really not. It I, Well, I guess maybe in a way it is, but they're earning that. Yeah, it's earned. Right? They're yeah, yeah, earning yeah. They're earning my attention yeah. because I'm seeing something in them. I'm seeing the potential for them to maybe take the next step or maybe they yeah. could be good enough or strong enough or fast enough or whatever. Right. Yeah. So I want to help facilitate that. So when you're a kid and you're, you know, you think you want to do something, if you take it serious, then the more people that you're going to come across that want to help you because you are looking like you want to help yourself kind of yeah. thing. Right. Yeah. And just going through all this, like I'm just thinking of if, uh, if I've got a student watching or parents watching or coaches for that matter, it could sound like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Like even all our podcasts, it's a lot of stuff. It's it heavy. Is. Yeah. Heavy. But you eat it, you, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, right? Yeah. That's that's how you do it. And and there's little steps that you take. It doesn't have to be all at once. But what you want to do, like we were talking about one the other day, it's like just in fitness, right? You don't you don't have to quit everything, stop eating any junk and never throw anything. Just start with walk. Start yeah. with eliminating or adding something to your diet. So it's the same thing with this. It's just start with something to make you accountable. So d identify your purpose and then start with you know, narrowing down one by one what is important. Yeah, I mean, I don't, we're not saying give up all your friends today. You will at some point. And we're not saying never uh, go out on a Friday night because you will. You, you will have those times. But this is what's important.